and welcome to Let's Talk Climate Change, a new concept where we ask people like you what they think about some of the latest headlines. My name is Shruti Chopra, and today Archana, Beam, and Delita will be talking to people. The first headline is, Drought in Czech Republic Visible from Space. Czech Republic faces a worse drought in 500 years. The current situation is considered extreme for agriculture and nature, especially if it persists. ESA satellite data is being used as a monitoring device. Now let's hear what people have to say. Benvenuti a World Climate Change News. Sono Diletta e qui con me oggi c'è un ospite speciale, il dottor Pasquale Chilupo, studente presso la Facoltà di Scienze e Gestione della Natura dell'Università di Bologna. Salve a tutti. Vorrei partire eh, parlando di una delle ultime notizie riguardanti l'attuale situazione di siccità della Repubblica Ceca, la peggiore degli ultimi 500 anni e visibile anche dallo spazio. Cosa ne pensa al riguardo? Beh, la Repubblica Ceca sta affrontando appunto una crisi a livello ambientale dovuta appunto a questa siccità, la peggiore di uno appunto degli ultimi 500 anni, e che ha causato anche una differenza anche del 30% di alcune aree rispetto ad altre aree già presenti. Questo è un danno sia a livello agricolo che a livello di biodiversità ed è un chiaro esempio appunto dei, dei effetti dei cambiamenti climatici che sono appunto in atto. Perfetto, è assolutamente d'accordo. Hello all, welcome to World Climate Change News. I'm Archana and today Mr. Vivek from Mumbai, India, he will be joining us on this channel. Hello Vivek, hope you are doing well. So let's get started with our news. The first news is Drought in Czech Republic is visible from space. Vivek, what do you think about the situation of Czech Republic citizens? Since, uh, well, uh, I think the situation seems dire because uh, since uh, uh, since it is visible, a drought that is visible from space, so it uh, itself underlines that uh, the situation is uh, somewhat dire, and uh, so the citizens there uh, uh, would definitely be in uh, uh, would be in trouble. Uh, that's what I think. So apart from that, there is a harvest and drinking water problem as well. Of course. Well. Uh, we all are experiencing such serious alarming situations and damage which are happening to environment currently. Uh, what do you think could be a possible reason for such events which are happening frequently? Uh, the reasons can be uh, many. Uh, first one that uh, comes to my mind is uh, the over-exploitation of water and uh, uh, specifically groundwater resources. When you, uh, when you uh, start exploiting uh, the uh, water uh, too much, then uh, it gets depleted and uh, creates a drought-like situation such as the Czech Republic that you have just mentioned. Second, the climate change. The climate change it aggravates anything. The climate change aggravates um, any such extremes, like uh, be that drought or flood. So climate change aggravates, uh, aggravates both of these. Uh, so these two are the probable reasons that comes to my mind. Yes, true. Okay. Good morning, Sivi. Good morning. First of all, I would like to introduce you to my audience. Today, I'm delighted to have my very dear friend, my very talented um, uh, director uh, in filming, in photography, and also um, a person who is interested in climate change very recently, and a Sudanese girl. So welcome in this episode. Hi. Hi. Okay, so um, today we're going to do what you really want to do is to know more about climate change and to shed the light on some pieces of news that were really important. Uh, so let's start with the first one, which is there is a drought in Czech Republic, which is visible from space. This is the new thing about this piece of news that is this drought is, is really visible from space. So what is the first thing that came to your mind when, when you first heard about this piece of news? Well, to be honest, the fact that a drought can be visible from space just goes to show how bad the situation is. Because in general, like, uh, like, how can how 
can a drug be visible from, to that from that extent? You get me? So yeah. I really think that the situation is really bad, and then add on top of that the whole pandemic situation. So yeah. I really think that they're having it extremely hard and stuff. So I really like hope that things do get better at least for it's them. It's a double critical situation for the Czech Republic. Yes, exactly. Italy Switzerland border glacier rapidly retreating. In the Alps, climate change is literally moving the border between Italy and Switzerland. In 2009, countries agreed to allow the border to move to accommodate changes caused by melting glaciers. A restaurant open on the Italian side could now technically be a part of Switzerland. Now let's hear thoughts on this. Come secondo topic parliamo del confine tra Italia e Svizzera. I cambiamenti climatici lo stanno letteralmente spostando. Dottore Chilupo, eh, potrebbe spiegarci brevemente a cosa è dovuto tale fenomeno? Beh, questo è un altro appunto degli esempi delle conseguenze dei cambiamenti climatici, eh, dovuto al fatto che appunto i ghiacci avanzando e ritirandosi creano delle modifiche appunto della, strutturali del terreno e eh, appunto oltre alla perdita di eh, acqua, risorsa idrica dovuta appunto allo scioglimento, ci sono anche altri problemi che sono studiati al momento che potrebbero interessare anche microorganismi contenuti all'interno dei ghiacciai che potrebbero appunto tornare in attività e quindi causare anche delle conseguenze a livello sanitario come quella che appunto abbiamo stiamo vivendo. Assolutamente. Moving on to the next headline. Italy Switzerland border glacier rapidly retreating this is really alarming don't you think yes it definitely is uh, the glaciers have been retreating since uh, the industrial revolution uh, since industrial revolution and uh, since we started um, putting in lots of greenhouse gases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere this this also reminds me of the ogjokul glacier uh, one that is in uh, one that is in iceland uh, they uh, the The glacier has retreated so much that it was uh, the local citizens have declared it as dead, and they even conducted a funeral for uh, that glacier. So this um, shows how tough the situation is for uh, uh, these uh, countries, for these uh, European countries. Right, and because of this, even sea level level will rise, and we many countries will experience flood, extreme flood events. Okay, so let's move to the next piece of news which concerns Italy and Switzerland. Italy and Switzerland border glacier is rapidly retreating. This means that the borders are shifting because uh, the glaciers are melting. <laughs> Have you yeah, ever so surprising? Yeah, it's very surprising. Have you ever imagined that the borders could shift and could change because of climate change? Not at all. It didn't even cross my mind. I did not at all. And the fact that it's happening in the border is kind of scary as well. Yes. Very Because I, everyone is used to see the beautiful view from like, you know, when we're traveling on the film and stuff. So you get to see that beautiful view. So yeah. honestly, like, I really hope that it, like, it doesn't get worse than that. Yeah, yeah. But it's also important to mention that Italy in specific is one of the leading countries in, in raising awareness about climate change because of their last, uh, of their last initiative in um, making just P students study about climate change in their schools. So that was a very great step. Yeah, that's actually very um, interesting. It's good that they're focusing more on, uh, on education educating the kids and in general, especially in school, because I feel like that's very, very important. Denmark to build energy islands. Denmark has announced plans to more than triple offshore wind capacity by constructing two energy hubs in the Baltic and North Seas. The plan is yet to be ratified in Parliament. Wind projects have previously received government subsidies, but costs of building wind farms dropped around 70% since 2012, and so this is no longer needed. Now let's hear comments on this. Infine, eh, parliamo della Danimarca. È nota per le sue iniziative per la lotta contro il climate change, costruirà delle isole energetiche, nello specifico due hub energetici, eh, nel Mar Baltico e nel Mare del Nord. Cosa ne pensa riguardo? 
Beh, sicuramente eh, utilizzare risorse energetiche rinnovabili rispetto appunto a quelle a fonte di carbonio è sicuramente l'azione la, più utile per combattere i cambiamenti climatici perché oltre a diminuire le emissioni di carbonio appunto nell'atmosfera aiuterebbe anche molti paesi a raggiungere l'efficienza energetica tale da non dover essere appunto succube di altre potenze nazionali, ecco. Certo, assolutamente, perfetto. La ringrazio dottore Chilupo. Grazie a voi. Alla prossima settimana, ringrazio tutti. The next headline is Denmark to build energy island. Uh, this really seems a hopeful news, don't you think? What yeah. do you think about the um, energy island which Denmark is planning to create? I think it's a, a great news, uh, a specific and specific entire island uh, for um, renewable dedicated to the renewable energy is uh, is a great news. Uh, the two previous news that you have mentioned are uh, they themselves are representative of how much damage we are doing to the uh, our environment. And uh, since we are kind of trying to contain this damage by uh, doing such initiatives such as the Denmark has um, initiated, it's a, uh, it is kind of a hopeful uh, step in my opinion. Yeah, true. I agree with you to some extent. But what do you think about uh, uh, this? Because we are going to create a full energy island and we will be building an artificial infrastructure on this whole natural space. So don't you think that can also uh, harm environment or this might uh, cause some negative effects uh, to the environment? Yes, definitely, definitely. That's an excellent um, uh, question. You see, because uh, since we will be building an entire artificial island, there would be lots of um, marine organisms, fishes, coral reefs that would be uh, damaged or uh, even they might even uh, get uh, they might even get killed because of uh, all the uh, say concrete uh, because of all the concretization or whatever uh, other infrastructure that they are building but we have uh, but uh, we can try to limit uh, we can try to limit that in a short range and uh, in a long term uh, i see this as a kind of an investment to uh, uh, investment for a better tomorrow you see and renewable an entire island uh, of renewable will be um, will be uh, will uh, help in uh, reducing our fossil fuel emissions and uh, that's something that uh, that's how i uh, look at this well true this seems hopeful and on this positive note let's wrap this up and see you again soon thank you mr vivek for joining so um the last piece of news we have today is about denmark because denmark plans to build two energy islands wow that's very innovative uh -huh. that's honestly i feel like it's a idea it's a smart idea that they're doing something like in like uh, two islands and so and i think it's very innovative as well like they're making use of everything around them and that's exactly what this world needs nowadays yeah yeah but also these kind of projects as you know it takes a very long time because this one is going to be ready in 2030 wow yeah that's like a really long time yeah yeah it's a very long, that's time. A really long time yeah exactly but imagine how is it going to be beneficial for citizens there very very beneficial for them extremely beneficial i think it's like i mentioned like uh, like finding innovative solutions such as this which is what denmark is doing i think it should be like an example for all countries that are trying to like resolve this issue like it should be an example for other countries definitely thank you thank you so much and thank you everyone for watching and wait for yeah. us in the next episode that was Reem Tamer from Egypt and that was Fabian El Fatah from Sudan thank you thank you bye bye thank you for joining us today tell us what you think about these headlines in the comment section we would love to hear from you see you next time